Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So I left this here in the previous episode to remind me that I need to move these bales to the sell point. I need to make some money. Um, yes, there wasn't an episode on the day when it should have been, last week. Uh, that's because I did a bonus episode. The day when I should have done Survivor Roleplay, the Saturday. I think it was Saturday the 1st. Yeah, I did Vintage Survival instead. So we're already sort of... Well, we were ahead, but now we're level with where we should have been. So that's the reason why I didn't do one on the day when I should have done one last week. But back to normal now, until I can't keep up with uh, Survivor Roleplay again. Which won't be too long. Because that Survivor Roleplay uh, does take a lot of planning. Uh, the previous episode, as I said, I don't want to ruin too much here, but the previous episode of Survivor Roleplay was... Um, done in a quicker way than I would have hoped, I'll put it that way, uh, due to lack of time, very very busy, but I have put quite a bit of time aside for the next episode, so that would be good. It is amazing how difficult producing Survivor Roleplay is, and I think most people who watch it enjoy it, I've seen a few comments that say stuff like, this is absolutely awful, I, I used to like Survivor Roleplay but now I hate it. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think of that, really, because there's other people who love it. So, I don't know. You can never please everybody. Right, so I will finish off the loading of the bales. I'll try not to tip the trailer over. We are going to load it quite full. I don't think we need to keep any of this straw. So let's just check the price for straw. 143. Yeah, it's almost as good as it gets. It is now declining quite rapidly. So we'll just have to take that price. Perfect. So we can put these two on the pallet forks, strap those ones onto the trailer, and we can take them all. Just tilt them up. Yeah, that's really nice to be able to take everything in one go. Saves doing multiple trips. We can boost that bank account again. Um, and yeah, where is the best place? Uh, biomass. Okay. That's over there. Makes it a bit trickier having those on the front. But thankfully, we can drive from third person view. Yeah, you can see how much trickier it is from first person. Let's just wait for this car. Oh, please, okay. <laughs> oh, no! And that's why you always look both ways. Funny how you don't really put any effort, well, I don't, anyway, I don't put much effort into road safety in a game. I guess it's because you can't actually cause a proper accident. <laughs> you can't injure somebody yourself or even die. Looking good. Well, the front ones are working their way off. 717. Hmm. I got a bit messed up. And now for the trailer. 7,173. Bringing our total to an impressive 17,400. Which, again, for this series, I do say that a lot, but for this series, that is really good. Now, we do have the grass, which is ready to be tedded and then baled. Technically, we don't need to do it. Technically, we could just bale it, because it's grass and the... Sheep only require grass, but we're going to do it as hay because really the grass won't keep. It's just going to rot. So we'll have to do it as hay. But after that, hopefully, the new field will be ready to harvest. Let's just see here. Mm, okay, no, it's not. It's going to be a few more episodes. But number one is going to be ready. So number one is over here. This will be ready in the next in-game day. So we can harvest this very, very soon. Right, so yes, tether. We, we must get the tether out. We're also in the process of selling wood, which is actually generating a lot of money. It's very good. Uh, how many more days was it until the wall was at its best price? 
Uh, I think it was improving, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Right, we can get over 3,500. We're in January, so we're actually here. We can do way better. It's currently 2,600. Um, which it's not bad, but we, we might as well just keep hold of it. Okay, so the tether is just here. Drop the mower off the back. We might be able to just alternate between doing hay and silage, but that is a bit boring and repetitive. I'm definitely going to seriously consider expanding the forest when we replant it, because, well, we're going to clear that forest. Then it would be a shame not to replant it. Looking good. I seem to remember this tether actually works very efficiently. It does take in even more width than what it is, uh, well, more than what you can see. So you can see, <laughs> that's an impressive working width. More than what we technically paid for. But yeah, having these trees out of the way really helps. Oh, well, I was just going to try again with the lumberjack. Yeah, I've got it enabled. But I think I have just basically cut these stumps too low. So we'll just get rid of those. Uh, there is a feature on here. Which one is it? I always get the wrong button. There's so many different buttons that you can click. Remove stumps. There we go. Good. So we're free of stumps. Now I won't keep running over them as we do the tedding. Uh, or the windrowing. Or the bailing. So actually in the next time lapse I'm going to do the tedding and the windrowing. Then we can be straight in with the bailing. And that will take just a, a few minutes. Because it, it's really good. Our, our tether is um, fast, the windrower is very efficient. It only produced a few swaths, even though it's not very big. There we go, looking good. So now it is time for the baling, which should be nice and fast, and once we've cleared the field of bales, we can hopefully then buy a roller. I've been wanting to buy a roller for some time. Uh, there is that concrete roller, I think it's called, uh, which you can buy extensions for. It's not cheap, but we're just gonna buy the base one. Uh, I think it's five and a half thousand pounds, but there is a chance that uh, it will be worth getting on a rent-to-own basis. Yeah, I don't think we have it yet. I'm pretty sure we didn't buy it in the previous episode. So that's what we'll sort of aim for, because then we can roll this grass once we've cleared it. And I, I think this tractor probably can pull the baler, but I'm going to put it onto the Ford. It makes more sense. And then we're ready to go with the front loader as well, clearing bales. So I can't really block the way. that there. Looks like we have some straw in there which will likely get converted. So 
switch on automatic drop. And there's our first bale. Only six swaths in total. Uh, the ones over on that side are quite thick. I did put a lot of grass into each one. We can turn the beacons off. Bale number two. If I can keep putting them in the same sort of area, it's going to make it even easier to clear. Very good. I'm hoping for four bales. If we can get four bales, then we're doing pretty well, because in the past I've produced two, I think, and that kept the sheep going for quite some time. And if we can roll the grass, then next time we should get an even higher yield. Bale number three. really shouldn't be difficult to get four. I guess having all that straw in the baler initially has helped a great deal because uh, we've just converted really low cost, well not low cost, but low, low cost straw into much higher value hay. And I better get the piece on the right there near the track. Come on, fourth bale. Nice. And then we'll be left with a tiny bit in the baler, which can be, well, probably be converted into straw. I don't think we'll be doing hay again that quickly, because this barley field here, or whatever it was, was it barley? Yeah, that'd be ready next time, as I said. Yeah, barley. Okay, nice. Switch that off, and we're ready to clear. Uh, we might have space in the shed. I'm using the uh, cheap pen storage shed for the uh, the wall. I did see a comment in the previous episode saying why didn't I move the rest of the wall across? Basically, I just don't want to. <laughs> I've already made a stack over here. I'll do it for all the hay from now on, but yeah, this stuff we'll just keep here until we sell it. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if we actually need that trailer anymore. I was keeping hold of it, but now we have the flatbed. So I reckon we can sell this. Let's see how well we can pick up two at a time. Actually, the sheep might even want one now. Well, I didn't pick it up very well, but it works fine. Uh, they should already have a bale in here. They do. That has only 62 litres left in it. I think we'll let it disappear first, otherwise I run the risk of putting it out of the actual trigger. But I need to keep a very close eye on that to make sure that they don't run out. But yeah, thankfully that is just bonus hay. That's not their actual uh, trough level. The trough will be totally full. So we can keep them in the shed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the rolling now because it's something which I very rarely do and it'll make a nice change. We probably should take some more trees down, and yeah, we're not going to just skip the day. It's a perfectly good day just to get that barley to be ripe. We can do that next time. We, should, we really should focus on the forest, because then if we can clear it, we can replant it. Nice, very nice. Uh, I think everybody is happy. I think the chickens have enough food. I think the sheep have enough water. That's not a bad bit of hay to keep. And it just seems much better doing it as hay, as I said. Because if that was grass, if we just put four grass bells in there, they would sweat and they would go all disgusting and stinky and rotten. But as we've made nice hay, we don't need to worry about it rotting. It will keep nicely. Uh, right, so, next up. Quick check. 
Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, we'll get the roller. Now, which category did it come under? Hmm, grass care. Yes, so leasing this at just £55 per day. It's 280 initially, but £55 a day is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I'm almost certain we didn't get it. No. So we shall get it. We shall get that right away. It is the this one here, because then we can attach the other ones to it. I guess we have to pay for the extensions, but that is going to be... What is that going to be per day? 52. And if we didn't go with the extensions, 50. So two pounds more per day. <laughs> it's absolutely nothing. So we'll go with that. Lease. 267 initially. We could actually go with uh, two, or we could even have three. Put the extensions on, but... It's a very small plot. I, th I think it would be... That would be a bit extreme. Shall we take the trailer? I think this trailer's time has come. It's been fantastic, but really, as we now have that low loader over there, or bail trailer, uh, it, it really is service to requirement. It's just not... It's just not needed. Let's make some money. And I seem to remember it was actually worth more than I thought. I was thinking like it'd be worth £200, but I think it is a few thousand. Maybe two or three thousand. So... Yeah, certainly worth selling. Looks like this is the place to sell it. I uh, can't see a trigger box, but I think it is here, as we have the spanner. There we go. That's a bit too far forward. Um, so we will repair it, repaint it. And it is 2,325. And we probably shouldn't have so much stuff on rent to own. We should probably start to buy some of those things. Things that we know that we're always going to need. So, for example, the windrower. If we just go on there, it does say purchase. Purchase it for fourteen ninety-two. Yeah. So we'll keep doing that gradually, as and when we get enough money. Yeah, I'm going to be popular taking this down the road. And that seems to be top speed as well. I'm back at the store. I've changed my mind. We're going to go with the full set. It's just going to be so much better. I was just going to go with this one so we could add them in the future, but why in the future? Let's just do it now. Brilliant. Uh, we can actually tow them all behind each other, I think. There is the middle pin. Uh, maybe you can only tow one behind it, actually. But yeah, uh, we'll just take it like this. Although I wasn't expecting this tractor to struggle so much, it actually really doesn't like it. Well, if the worst comes to the worst, I can just return one. Because I'm sure it can pull two. But look at that. We can even say what sort of width it is. It's the width of a road. What a fantastic width. I've had to approach from this angle so we can actually get in. But that, yeah, it's just working automatically. And what I'd be right in thinking this is just giving it basically an application of fertilizer. If so, that's going to save us so much money. It's going to be a big money saver. Let's just zoom in. Yep, it is. It's applying fertilizer, as you can see there. Well, it's not applying fertilizer, but you get the idea. It's the equivalent of. So I don't mind how slow it goes. With that money saving, it's fantastic. Because it's actually making it fully fertilized. And now downhill, the best part. We can absolutely fly downhill. to the edges. But yes, they must be extremely heavy because it is struggling. But it is a decent working with. Hello trailer. Didn't have a problem moving the trailer. Not only are we 
getting this application of fertilizer, but it should now say that it doesn't need rolling, instead of saying needs rolling. Seems to be how it works. <laughs> uh, look at that. Making stripes. I wish you could actually, I wish you could make stripes. Like when, when farmers roll their grass fields, it makes those beautiful stripes, like a lawn. going to be a significant money saving doing this and it's only between them probably going to be at 150 pounds a day to keep hold of them I don't think we need to worry too much about the hourly fees we're not going to be clocking up the hours and now for our final pass downhill Doesn't get any better than downhill. Lovely. So we'll conclude by felling some trees and selling them. Uh, they're not very manoeuvrable, so we're going to have to just put them here, I guess. Just attach that rear one, the first one. Now we're going to attach to the trailer. And I think we got at least four trees in before. So we should be able to do the same again. Right, so yeah, I'm probably going to fell them across this field, so we don't want to be parking on the field itself. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Because we've done a lot of tree felling in multiple Let's Plays recently. So I'm sure you don't want to see it too much. Just get them sliced down. <laughs> And then I'll just process them and then yeah after the time ups we can load the final few onto the trailer. And I'll just keep using the uh, easy development mod to remove the stumps. I know we, we can do it with Lumberjack and there are techniques but I think it is all because I'm cutting the trees too low. So that's really open that up a bit more. We might be able to get a fifth one, but let's just do these first. Well, four trees that seem to be the right amount, but these are still growing. So we might even have some more height in the next episode. Just not going super big with them, because I want to get some more money in. Because the sooner we can get more money in, the sooner we can buy this tractor outright. Also, we can uh, buy some more land, which is obviously a big thing. Very important. But there we go. Four more trees on board. That's not bad going. And then we can hopefully plant an even bigger forest. Doesn't matter if it encroaches significantly into the grass field, because we're making money either way. We're either going to make money from silage or hay, or we're going to make it from the wood. It's just the wood is a longer term project, but it's fine. I can't remember exactly how much money we made last time, maybe £5,000-ish? But if we are making £5,000 from every row, it's going to add up, like the whole forest would be £30,000 maybe. But I might have got that price wrong, maybe it's more. Let's pop it over here, before it goes berserk, it's jiggling. Yeah, 5637. 
Uh, but thankfully, even more than I predicted by 637. So, uh, yes, our grand total is 21,394, which means we're on track to buy another field very soon. I wonder which one is going to be good for us. Yes, uh, well, 8 next to 9. If we can get that next time, we're going to have a, a wheat field, which is fully fertilised, ready for us to go. And then we could join uh, these two together. Make one bigger field. And if we did have it, you can see the blue areas that we already own. We'd have all this as well. So I think we are aiming for this sort of block. Because it's all local to the farm. Uh, we're just sort of surrounding these other properties. But not to worry. It doesn't matter. I'm sure they won't mind. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.